I think it was finished last week. We've just commissioned it about a month ago and it was all done up last week. Hello uh, and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Peter and I'm going to be taking you through the latest uh, trends in technology uh, here in East Africa, uh, Nairobi, Kenya. And I'll be interviewing one of the latest hyperscale uh, data center providers who's just uh, landed in Nairobi. Uh, they just along uh, Mombasa Road, uh, very near the Cabanas, uh, and their name is IX uh, Africa. So I will uh, take you through the journey and through the story. So I'll be having an exclusive interview uh, with Naraj and uh, we'll be touring the site so you'll be able to see um, the site uh, maybe just to look at some of the services that uh, they intend to offer. So if I go again to their website and uh, look at the services. So, of course, uh, they're going to offer co-location services. They're going to offer remote hands, um, some industry solutions. I'm not too sure exactly what those solutions are. Uh, migration services, uh, connectivity options, of course, once they have all the CDNs and all the big carriers and other players there. Um, bespoke data halls, um, campus specifications, and of course, internet exchange point. I hope we'll all learn something. I hope at the end of the day, we really get inspired. Um, you know, uh, to build a dream, it takes one step at a time. You know, you can have this extremely big vision of a dream, what you want to be, what you want to achieve. But uh, it's all about taking those small steps first. And eventually those small steps lead to big things. So just be inspired, take the small steps and uh, it will lead to your big dreams. And I hope you guys all pursue your dreams and uh, see you next time. Thank you for listening and enjoy. Bye. So part of the data center is also to have a very yeah. nice cool uh, appearance as well and also promote, uh, like I said, the local artists and all. So it's actually quite, quite nice. This was done, I think it was finished last week. We've just commissioned it about a month ago and it was all done up last week prior to the launch. So, uh, yeah, very, very uh, cool. So uh, it's painted on or what? It's a mural. It? It's painted on. It's a mural. The guys, the guys were actually here. Okay. The whole team were here and they painted this on. And there's quite a bit of artwork we have inside as well. So it's a, it's, it's a nice place to come to work too. Right? Looks nice. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, and as you can see, it yeah. stretches all the way down to the other yeah. side as well. So this entire area is all ours. And as we go in, we'll see the expanse of the of the data center itself. All right. So yeah, this welcome to IX Africa data. The actual generators, which are going to be 2.5 yeah. MBA, uh, you know, as we as we move along. Yeah. Okay. This area here yeah. is the teleport. Yeah. This is basically the, the uh, beginning of what we're putting in. And then obviously we put the plinths in for the satellites to sit on. Yeah. So, so how big is this uh, teleport area going to be? This teleport area is roughly about uh, 0.8 of an acre. So I'd say about 4,000 meters, square 4, meters. 4,000 square meters. Yeah, 4,000 square meters. Right. And then we have lots of access on top of the roof there, yeah. uh, where you could put more satellites, BTSs. You know, there's been a lot of uh, interest in having BTSs here as well, because they're, you know, obviously we're in a very, very good location off Mombasa so you Red. you actually fence off this side for the... Yes. Side? So this will all be fenced off yeah. and then as you come in we'll bespoke yeah. so set it up for you on your requirement generally they will sit on plinths okay. and then with the power is all available from that side so we'll pull the power towards this and thing and you redundancy have any well. containers also here ah uh, no 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 at this stage we don't have any plans for okay. content because all the containerized uh Diesel generators, fuel is all on yeah. that side. This is purely Maybe an open there's area. something to consider. Some of the equipment needs to be close to the dishes. So when I show you my site, you will I'll understand you'll more. see and yes. understand. So Absolutely. Maybe something that you'll learn uh, as we go. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. And like yeah. I said, it's bespoke. So we can try yes. and yes. Uh, you know, design it in such a way that it's Correct. good. It's perfect for you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely right. open to ideas. Excellent. <laughs>
that's good. So the entire site, yeah. the entire site is four and a half acres. Four and a half acres. Right. And this is the boundary wall. This side. This entire, yeah. This is the boundary wall going all the way around. Up to the back. Yeah, and we have two fiber entry points from from the from this side, yes. which is just off the Mombasa Road. So all the networks actually pass through here. So they're all pulling in the fiber, as are you soon. Yes. Uh, there's one point there, one point on this side here. So there's a manhole. There's a manhole here and yes. a manhole there. Outside, inside, so you pull it in, and then we got 24 fiber ducts, okay. uh, and then there are two more fiber entry points at the back, the back. which I'll show you. Yeah, okay. so we've got so two at the front and two, two at yeah. the back. So four okay. fiber entry points. Four fiber entry points. Yeah, so right. lots of redundancy. The whole uh, concept of redundancy is, yeah. you know, to a different level uh, compared to the other, you know, what, what, what's available currently. All right. uh, yeah. This area where you see a bit of a pond yes. is where we'll have the 18 megawatt. Uh, data center, data center two, phase, oh, phase two, two of the right, which is at Reba three right now, which means we've just about uh, finished the MEPs on all that, and we'll start going into yeah. in about eight weeks' time. We'll go in for our um, stage four okay. of do, doing the RFP, and so that'll be an 18 megawatt. So it'll be six okay. uh, megawatts per floor, three floors, all right. and then all the equipment stays at the bottom, and then chilling on top. That'll be chilled. The cooling will be a chiller concept. That far off building is the medium voltage room where we have four streams coming in. Uh -huh. So our design as per the hyper requirements uh, or, or to meet the hyper's uh, redundancies, we've got four for three. So at any point in time, rather than have two uh, for one, we're yeah. four for three. So there are three streams that are actively on all the time. And there's okay. a fourth one that picks up the slack if there is. Right. So okay. 11 KV will be split up and there'll be four 11 kV lines going into the transformer room and then all, all the way through. All right, excellent. That's fine. So yeah, and it's a lovely place, uh, you know, we're trying to make it comfortable, homely, you know, it's a good yeah. place to come and work. There's and a lot of yes, planting going on. Yes, you plant a lot of plants as well. With yes, time. absolutely. So the construction is finished. It's all it done. It looks nice and green. Absolutely, and we're also trying to do, uh, you know, with the local communities, do recycling. Uh, all those initiatives are part of our uh, uh, keep it Africa, helping out the community. We do a lot of that. All, all, all this has been built using African Kenyan stone. Kenyan, it's all made locally, right? This entire uh, data center as, as we go along. The concept, the future, the design is done by Future Tech, uh, who worked with us for quite some time. So with I've noticed the silver piping along the wall. Yes. Um, yes, that's a good one. Question. I think that might be to do with water, if I'm not okay. mistaken. I'm not sure. Uh, I have, or oh, maybe it's, yeah, so that, that's water for sure, that's, that's water, water, right, uh, because coming to water, we have two sources of water, yeah. one is the utility company that provides us water, and then we have our own borehole for okay. redundancy as well, okay. uh, and then we also have a wastewater management, uh, you know, complete cleaning up of the water system before it goes in, the water is purified before it goes into the data center, because the concept that we have for cooling is uh, adiabatic uh, coolers okay. so what and they use water work? so there are th the, the IAC units have got redundancies built within themselves uh, and they have three modes of working one is air then water and then DX so on, on, a, on a very hot day and everything goes wrong the DX will come in but uh, predominantly by default it's air and water okay. right so, so basically so the, air sec uh, the water yeah. circulates the, the water cools the air it goes in uh, and you know, and that and that mode works very well, especially uh, because we're in Kenya, in Nairobi. We're at about six thousand feet above, above sea, sea level, level. so yeah. the air is quite cool. Yeah. Uh, and you know, pulling in that air, just purifying it, get, getting the air handling units to clean it out and putting it in works. Yeah. So, like between the months of say May and September, temperatures drop quite a bit here. Yeah. Uh, it's basically free cooling. So for customers, it's actually a plus sign because your cost of power is not there in terms of um, or it's there but you're not using the, your PUE factor is low uh, this by design is uh, has a PUE of 1.25 uh, which means that uh, you know you using only you know a 0.25 to cool one kilowatt uh, so the air element when it's free cooling means you're using less you're losing literally no power to cool the equipment it's a very big concept. It's also going towards being very, very green as well, right? Uh, you know. So, so how, how far is this place from the airport? 
This is actually five kilometers from the airport, and it's, it's pretty close. Pretty close to the airport, and and not on the flight path, which is great. You know, one of the one of the benefits of location has been the fact that uh, it's off the expressway. All the yes. networks are there. It's yes. easily access accessible in yes. terms of from the central business district, yes. from Westlands, from uh, the airport, from Mombasa. If you want to yes. come down, it's very very accessible. You know, and I think the expressway has been a blessing. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people find it very convenient. It's it's a plus for us definitely. To, so to it's also a very good place for those guys trying to host internationally as well. Yes, absolutely. Just jump off then, the flight and here you straight, are yeah. <laughs> straight here. And, and then, then inside we jump have jump on another flight and, and go are. back. Yeah, and in between we have a yeah. welfare zone where you have coffee, yeah. tea. You know, yeah. it's all provided for, all, all taken right. care of. Excellent. You know, you, you know, you can, uh, you know, yeah. while you're working, maybe even. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to have our pool table there, but soon enough yeah. there, there'll be a relaxing okay. uh, entertainment uh, welfare area. So where, where are we going to start with? So I think let's try and let's walk around yeah. uh, so we can actually see how big this building really is. Uh, that's the main entrance. Uh, that's all open. Uh, we could go that way, but I yeah. think let's just go around so you have a yeah. gist of what, yes. what the actual uh, view. view of it. Yes. So that this, in essence, where we were, where we just passed, is where the office block is. Yeah. Here is where we have the actual data center. Okay. So that's the outside. That's the loading bay. Yeah. Where. Okay. So where we bring in all the equipment all the equipment comes in. Yeah. An entire twenty or forty foot container can come through this entire road, back up, and then we have yeah. gates there for them to okay. exit if so they have to. Yeah. Or even come so back. easy is very yeah very easy access and. Uh, uh, exit obviously and then here's the uh, yeah you just go in there offload stack it all there and then once you through uh, security and everything you just go yeah. uh, you know there, there is process that we have in place yeah. so obviously before you do come in they're all checked and validated yeah. and there you have it yeah. uh, so this area here is the lower hall and you see these little uh, niches that you see yeah. so the top bits are where the plenum comes out and the hot air will actually come out oh, okay. Okay. and the lower bits are where the IAC units will go in once okay. you have once you go in and there so there's two levels now that's the gantry yeah. for the upper one yeah. so the same concept is where the chilling units will sit yeah. the the IACs the units will sit there yeah. on the gantry and then the cassettes go in there and we how call them cassettes floors do you plan to make? so for the data hall it's just two floors okay. right the office is obviously bigger as you can yeah. see yeah. Uh, but for the data center we've got two floors the lower floor has 1.5 megawatts of IT power capacity. Okay. And the upper floor has got 3 megawatts of IT right. capacity. Yeah. So in essence, this 1.5 makes it the largest data center in Nairobi right now. And obviously with the one with the 4.5, you know, we're, yeah. we're way above. Okay. And then we'll have the 18 built up there, yeah. uh, which will make it a total of 22 and a half megawatts. All right. For and our phase first. two will be much bigger. Phase two is going to be 18 megawatts, yes. Okay. And then we'll already be already doing site selection for us for our second site, okay. uh, which is in process. So yeah, we intend to grow. All right. Quite. There is there is definitely. So thinking big of Mombasa as well as another location. So we terminate mostly the subsea cable. Yeah. So it's an interesting uh, discussion. Yes, we will look at Mombasa, but you know, um, Africa is a different game, yeah. right? Because when you think about it, it's not like Europe where. You have the subsea and then the metro just comes in. Yeah. All the eyeballs basically sit inland in Africa, so yes. in Kenya, in Africa, in East Africa. Nairobi. So the, it makes sense to be in Nairobi, could land into the country, uh, and then they need to terminate. But where's all the traffic going to go? So, so that's why we are targeting mostly the CDNs as the primary. Well, all everybody. I mean, cloud CDNs, hypers are coming in. You know, uh, Kenya is becoming like a hotspot in a big way because yeah. it's massive green energy. We have ninety close to 90% green energy. Yeah. Uh, so everybody's realizing that one of the things that you want to do is be green, and so you want to be in Nairobi yeah. more so uh, than anywhere else. And then, uh, yeah, and the market's massive, you know, 400 million plus people now. Yeah. If you take into consideration DRC that's coming in, which is again inland, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, you have access to Ethiopia now, uh, Sudan's coming into the game, Somalia's there as well. So th there's a massive market, right, that we can access. and. I think we're very, very, Kenya is very centrally placed to yeah. be the entry point into Africa. Yeah. And, and the eastern the seaboard is ma yeah. massive, right? So, Correct. yeah. And then I think a lot of people are realizing about terrestrial cable now. And so there's yeah. a lot of activity going on with different players uh, building inland yeah. a lot. So, yeah, you know, picking up. So, True. to your question, yes, cloud content, 
you know, all, all the providers want to be here. And also a lot of ISPs and MNOs are looking at being here because they'll be able to pick up uh, traffic from us. And we've got a special offer with links right now. So, you know, you come in and you get a link support free. So, Excellent. you know, so, so, you know, we can do that and then straight away you're in, into the game. Uh, so we're developing the largest interconnectivity hub. Yeah. The fact that there'll be satellite connectivity available yeah. uh, and, and, and in terms of the content, the cloud, uh, you know, all of that that's available. And, and I think the uptake for e-commerce is quite big locally. Yeah. So also that's going to happen. So a lot of people are looking at having the servers here yeah. and making sure that they focus on the commerce bit rather than the operating bit of yes. of of a data center. Right. Right? Excellent. So it's actually quite cool. Yeah. Talk. So massive, as you can see. Uh, you know, we're just about getting ready. We had so our how launch. How many square meters is this building? So this building would be about four thousand three hundred square meters, okay. um, if I'm correct, yeah. right? And uh, really it is. It's massive. It's huge. You can see it's going down. So this building also houses all the electrical uh, uh, setup, you know, the, the, the switch gear, the UPSs, the transformers, all of this is within. So as you go around, you'll have a look at it. Yeah. That across there is the medium voltage, uh, sorry, the Kenya Power's uh, metering. Yeah, so they come in there, they're two. So that's also in redundant. Yeah. So that comes in through. Yes, uh, actually, it'll be quite quick to be honest. But yeah, it'll be it'll, it'll be in full. Uh, you know, it'll be lush in, in in terms of in a couple of years. And then Nairobi's great like that. It's you know everything grows so well. So you have another exit point here. So yeah, so these are the two points that we talk about. Yeah. That down there was basically whenever we have a huge truck that may need okay. to come in, and obviously yeah, and even this is turn. yeah. And so it makes it easier from an emergency point of view. You know, this yeah. gives you good access. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, out and in that that's where we have the fibers coming in so one was there yep. i think well both of them are there actually yep. if i'm not mistaken the two fiber entry points all right uh, one might be further up there and that comes in and so that's the metering room so what is this area here so this now is where it all happens here is where if you look at this we this is where you have the four streams coming and each stream is color coded yeah. so from the medium voltage on that side yeah. you will come through to this side and these are where the transformers sit so step down yeah. transformers will be here and then we can go in okay. uh, maybe we just walk around so here i'll tell you what this is all about here is where we'll have our fuel and our generators so these areas that have been you know you can see they've already put the foundations in because it'll be a gantry, and in total we'll have 24 2.5 MVA generators, day three. Day one, we'll start with two, and there's still 2.5 MVA, and then we'll build up as we go along. Uh, the, this, on day one, this will give you at least two and a half megawatts of IT power. The minute we put in our 66 kV uh, gas-insulated substation, this will be able to do four and a half megawatts, and then obviously that uh, substation allows us for two uh, you know, provide the power for the 18 megawatt as well. So we have 11, two 11 kV redundancy lines coming in right now, which go through the metering room, go down to the medium voltage. The four streams start from there, comes into here. This is where the transformer is, right? So we step it down, and then from here it goes in, and we have the uh, the battery uh, redundant battery places, and we use lithium ion, and then from there the switch gear, the UPS the switch here and then you go in so it's all clean power from there yeah. so here you go now you're entering the yeah this is all the where all the electrical elements are so as I mentioned to you here we come in uh, you know, we, yeah, so I'll tell you, let's walk into the passageway and you'll have a better idea. Yeah. So that's where the transformers are, okay. right? Um, right. Uh, yeah, you don't want to take So that's the transformers. Yeah. Uh, and here we have the rooms for the batteries. Okay. So the batteries will sit here. 
and you can see all the piping yeah. put in for the cooling as well yes. right okay. and then here um, is where we have the switch gear okay. right the so yeah. UPS is here and there are two streams a1 a2 b1 b2 okay. so we'll be using a1 and b1 a2, B2, yes. you know, and that's how it's, uh, and obviously if you want more detail on that, uh, yeah. you know, Narash can give you more detail on this, and this is where it is. So you can see where all the stuff's coming in now. Yes. Right, this is the switch gear, right, it's all there for the medium voltage. Okay, so you'll be able to monitor all this. Board. Yeah, we have a, a BMS that monitors everything. It's very smart. Yeah. Uh, if anything does, it, if, and there is, it's idiot proof as well. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want somebody switching it off, so it's it's got a lot of uh, protocols before yeah. anything can be done. But uh, yeah, we have a very very smart, sophisticated BMS, okay. and uh, we've also got Schneider that can uh, will also monitor yeah. uh, the the whole monitor the running of it, so they don't have access to everything else. So just monitoring that they're that, that they're actually uh, that the equipment's running right. Yeah. So so the A one B one. We'll have four streams. Yeah. A, B, C, D. It will allow you to do maintenance. Yes. Basically yes. take off Absolutely. one uh, UPS of line, do maintenance while you have the other one. Running. Absolutely. It's like a container ship in the ocean. It still has to keep on moving. Exactly. You, you, oh yeah, you, you can maintain the machinery, yeah. the generators, all the switch sure. gear while you're on the move. Sure. So you work, say so you have a lot of partners that you've worked with to build this data center. Suppliers, yes, 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 and it, I think uh, the fact that uh, we've had very good relations with Schneider in terms of uh, one of the shareholders being yeah. the ex uh, Kenya Schneider chairman, you know, we, yeah. we've, we've, we've got good uh, support, and not only from Schneider, I think from all the guys who've come in to work here because this is a very different uh, game altogether. We've changed the landscape of data centers in, in Kenya in Sub Saharan yeah. Africa, so uh, it, I think it's also. Uh, quite a proud moment for many of the other suppliers to have it on their portfolio. Yes. Uh, and you know, and, and most of them, as I said, all local. We're using local Jennies as our Cummings generators as well, which uh, has a local uh, agent. Make sure that we don't have any downtime. Excellent. So as we walk through, yeah. so here's what we have as, a, as the corridor now you can see this is it all the gear yes. you can see already the streams are being put in so there's fiber cabling everything is overhead okay. right so it's fiber your power cables which are through the different streams all of that comes through the cabling is on top powers at the bottom and all, all that so it's all designed in such a way and you seem to have different color coding. yeah so for every stream has a different co color okay. so, so stream a b c yes so it is it's it's and well thought out. So you don't mix up anything. Absolutely. I mean, exactly. So we know exactly which cable, where, which cable is going through. Here is the data hall number one, okay. uh, which is being completed. Um, this is 1.5 megawatts. Yeah. Those are the chilling units on that side. So we have a service corridor yes. in between where the louvers are and the cartridges. Yeah. So for maintenance, nobody comes in. It's all done through okay. the service corridor. And, and you're able to, yeah, you're able to isolate. So this is what you are seeing from outside? Yes, this is what we're seeing from outside, the cartridges and the plenum on top. So the height of the, of, of the you know, floor to ceiling is about six and a half meters, I think. Okay. And then we'll have a suspended ceiling. Okay. And we have the fire equipment coming through it. We, you know, all, all the cable trays will come through it. All, all cable trays will be overhead. All cable trays, everything's overhead. So, yeah. You know, uh, raised floor is something that's sort of outdated. outdated <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and so, you know, it, we've got a solid cement floor. Yeah. With raised floors, there are a lot of uh, limitations. Yeah. You know, you get a lot of dust. Nobody looks at it from the top. It's yeah. all clean and it's, so it's, you know, clinically right. Uh, so, yeah, the hot air goes through, gets out of the plenum, air handling units clean it up, make sure, and then they come back. As you can see, we've already got entrances made up yeah so that's the reason for the entry points is that we've already got customers who want their own cages 
So we provided the access to the case. And then, yeah. And then we can then uh, go ahead. Oh my God. Time to wait. So the reason why we have these is that uh, you can come in, you can build, you know, we'll build your case to your bespoke yeah. level. Yeah. And then you want your biometrics, uh, CCTV, we can do Everything. that all for you. Yeah. So it's already ready for CAGE. And that's where a lot of the uh, uh, financial sector guys have been quite interested in coming yeah. in here. Also the MNOs, so that's ISPs. The security aspect yes. of it is really good. Absolutely. I mean, they don't want to run a data center. You know, they want to focus on their core yeah. business, you know. And so what they would like is a okay. cage. Yeah. yeah, cage is ready. I've seen that's now become a very common trend. Yeah. To so have your own cage. cage. Absolutely. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's working out quite well. We can walk outside. Yeah. I'll just yeah. show you where sure. the meet me rooms are. Um, So, as the, so this is the so you see it's now differentiated. That's all the electrical, and now the data center right. is in here, right? So, how long have you spent in terms of time to reach where you are right now? Is we actually broke ground in 2021 February. Okay. The building was up in 2022. Mark. Wow. So the core, shell and core. Well, it's one year to put up the entire building. Yeah. So it's yeah. one year. It's not bad, to be honest. It's yeah. actually quite quick to do the entire core, core and yeah. shell. And then obviously, as we were now gearing up, and then COVID's there, so supply chain comes in. We were also yeah. getting in our equity partners coming in at that time. So a bit of a slowdown, uh, which now has accelerated tremendously, where we are going to be ready for service uh, for, for uh, July, for sure. And then in terms of getting equity partners, how difficult was it? It's, uh, it's actually, uh, it's, it's obviously a lengthy process, but I think yeah. um, it was quite an interesting situation because there were quite a few uh, yeah. partners that wanted to partner with us. Yeah, who were interested. Who were in interested, it. yeah. And yeah. so, uh, because I think, and that's more to do with the fact that, uh, you know, uh, Kenya has become very, it, it's, it's hot, as I say, it's, yeah. you know, people okay. want to be in it's East business, Africa, Africa. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's a lot happening, and digitally, it's very savvy. Lots of yeah. uh, lots of uh, uptake, as I said, commerce, yeah. government, mil health, medical, yeah. content. You know, all yeah. the guys are sitting here. So that's why we have the hypers yeah. want to bring in the cloud here. Yeah. Uh, there's a big affinity for getting yeah. content in, getting content yeah. out. So I think at that time, Helios Investments. You know, we yeah. worked with them, um, yeah. and it was a fairly lengthy process. Yes, yeah. obviously, lots of due diligence to be done. And all clarified, and Helios came in and, um, you know, injected in $50 million so that we're now on the get-go and ensuring that we uh, finish the building because we have a lot of people who are interested in yeah. coming in. So, uh, if you walk this way, there's one meet-me room. This is the corridor. As you can see, that area is where the loading zone is, where we saw where we came from in outside. from outside. So you come in and then the man traps in the middle. So once you've been, you've got your clearance, you can then come through and then walk, you know, get through. So this is one of the first meet me rooms, still being uh, sorted out. So yeah, it's just uh, being cleaned up, getting done. So the cooling unit's already in. We have four meet me rooms okay. in total. And um, maybe you thought about also uh, GSM operators, guys using wireless also coming in. Yes, they've been, they've been actually, uh, that's, it's been interesting. We've had, a, during the launch, we had quite a few of the MNOs come in, ISPs, but a lot of the WISPs are very keen to come here because yeah. they can access yeah. good content in cloud and uh, have um, the ability to, to pick up traffic or, and provide. So you, so you plan also for maybe a tower to put some wireless equipment? Yes, yes. All, that's, uh, all that is uh, in play. I mean, we're expecting you on board as well, right? So. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of things are happening the right way. Um, we we have to. I mean, there's been a big uptake, as I said. The MNOs are, are very keen to come in because, again, for them, it's the same thing: ISPs, MNOs, wireless guys. There are a lot of guys who are now also looking at their, you know, their own uh, virtual MNOs. Yeah. Who want to come up? So they've also come and had a look. So certainly, there's been. Uh, you know, it, it, it's 
so people are looking at uh, IX Africa and want to make sure that they're here yeah. hosting, right? So and that's it. So you guys thought about there you go. investing in a data center. Well, there's a lot of data centers already in Kenya. So this is where the difference is. Where most of the data centers in Kenya, in fact, all at this stage, are um, enterprise data centers. Okay. One, one and a half megawatts. Uh, on a good day, yeah. some claim to be 1.6 yeah. to 2 megawatts, yeah. uh, which is that. But we are gearing up, as I said, to yeah. uh, be ready for the hypers. Okay. That's so 20. So we're looking at 22.5 megawatts. Yeah. So, so it's different. It's different yeah. in terms of what we have, and that's why we yes. say we've changed the landscape because yeah. we're now looking at bring, you know hosting. Yeah. And, and I'm sure a lot of the other data centers that are here are now looking at how they can also be part of this. Uh, you know, the market's great. Uh, there's a big demand for a lot of things. So um, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, but we're different. So basically, this is the ground floor, and you so we have right. So on top, there's a top floor. Uh, I don't think we can yeah. take the elevators right now. I'll just show you where the second data center is. I mean, this uh, second hole, too. Uh, because some guys are very, very critical about, uh, you know, how this is done. So, uh, you want to switch on? It's fine. We can go up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So, as we go up, this is uh, getting up to the second uh, hall of the data center. It's a good workout. Right, it's a bit dark here. Maybe we can go into this way and this. So this is, uh, there's a meeting room there. Um, and then this is the welfare zone. So be a cafeteria, coffee station, pool table, you know, so you can chill out a little bit here. If we go around here, I think this might be open, I'm not sure. Yeah, so these are one of the, one of the local artists that we've commissioned. Um, they're they're going to be around, it's quite nice. And then... Ah, we will have to go around the other way. Let's go, let's go around the other way. Meet me room down there, okay. right? Meet me room here, right? So there, are, so there are four meet me rooms all in all. The lift comes up here. The lift is good for two and a half tons of capacity, of, of yeah, of weight. Two and a half tons. Uh, we're still checking if we can go up to five. We're just making sure. And there are two elevators, lifts. Uh, this now is obviously we're now cleaning it up, getting it ready. So this is the largest of all data centers here. Right. Um, this is three megawatts. And you'll put the railing as well to separate. Well, uh, now it depends. You know, uh, yeah. You, you know, we can cage it up the way you want to. Yeah. Uh, but if you want three megawatts, then yeah. here's three megawatts. If you want two, then we get you know, two and one. And you know, we can do it whichever way. So yeah. this is we, we leave this open because this is the yeah. big discussion. What do you want? Right. Yeah. How do you want it? What's your okay, reservation? So you want to make it a bespoke. Yeah, it's bespoke. Sort of Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What is it that you'd like, you know, and so, yeah. uh, that, you know, we, we'll, we'll customize it to your needs. Yeah. And as you can see, it's, again, massive yeah. height. Uh, those are two, you, two areas where the cooling now comes in from, from both sides. Um, there you go. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So that basically is what uh, you're offering, right? So I'll take you upstairs now to the main area, uh, just to show you the offices. And then there's a lot of work that's gone into here. It's, 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 uh, so, so, so on average, return on investment, you, you broke ground in 2020. 2021. 2021. Yeah. It's already a couple of years. It's two years. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the return on investment like? 
Um, okay, I think data centers is a game where you have to wait and you know get it right. Uh, you know, we don't look at the return on investment right away. I think it's a long-term game. I think there's a lot of uh, partnerships. Yeah, partnerships. partnerships that come in, inject money, but you grow a market, you grow a massive market, and then you go. So here now we've come to the IX Africa floor. Okay, so this is right? basically your office. This is our offices. So this is one area. Uh, this is an open plan where yeah. perhaps the operations team yeah. will sit, they have the knock downstairs anyway. Yeah. So this is one area, and yeah. then we can go down to where uh, we have maybe a, what can be termed as the administrative block. Again, lots of uh, meeting rooms. These are our offices, right? So that's the boardroom, these are individual offices. Really good. Yeah. It would be interesting to come back here after one year. Absolutely. Well, you know, we're moving and in. See what it will look, look like. Yeah, absolutely. Once people have started working. I'll just give you an aerial view yeah. of where we are. We can walk outside here. Again, you commissioned local artists. Absolutely. We, you know, we want to promote. Really yeah. We would want to promote our, uh, you know, this whole theme that we have as well. Yeah. You know, we were trying to uh, work with the community as well. Yeah. Keep it Africa, you know, there are many factors that we are looking at. So here, this is the roof now. We have, and we, as you can see, it's elevated. So yes. nothing is drilled into the okay, actual into the roof. Ground. It's, it's, there's a, there's yeah. a whole gantry that we put up yeah. and everything is now bolted onto this. Yeah. So there is any thaw waterproof. So nothing actually goes on yeah. to this and then we can further. Explain.